When, as we're building our culture and we ask the question to the staff, what would you like more of or less of? And he simply said, I would love more smiles. And I just appreciate he always has a smile on his face. He's always positive and there's always a smile on his face. And so now we've got this emoji thing where everybody's running around smiling because Mr. Driffle says we have to smile. And what it did is it lifted everyone's head and shoulders up to begin to look at everyone and value each individual person. So I got into education because my mom was a teacher, uh, my dad ran a YMCA, so lots of youth programs. I've just kind of always grown up around trying to help others and being a part of the community. People always say, oh, well, he's a special education teacher, but he is so much more than that. He started our robotics program. He uh, did our very first science fair at Hanalei last year. It was huge. So this year was year two, even bigger. I noticed his energy and enthusiasm and passion for children across all levels. And he really knew a lot, not only as a special education teacher, but as a general education teacher. And his focus and passion was including all children in all levels of academics. I'm always impressed with the activities he creates and the things he gets involved with, the science fair, his robotics club, and he just finds these activities to engage students that even seasoned teachers never think of. So he really has a way to kind of hook the kids and engage them and then help them to learn once they're there. He does a club after school with both general education students and students that gets, takes to have special education services, and they've created robots and they've now entered competitions. So I really enjoy STEM a lot, especially in my role as special education, a lot of my students, they're so bright and they're so, they have all these skills, but you know, it might be reading or just different things that hold them back. So actually the STEM and the hands-on is their chance to grow. So I have a few students in my club that are, um, do have disabilities such as, you know, reading impairments and they work with me during the day. So it's their chance to really shine because they're so great at that. So I love that aspect of STEM. I think when you're an educator and, and special education, um, first and foremost, you need to be child-centered. And I think that everything that Andrew does is child-centered. I just think that's who he is at his core. So, I mean, he really thinks about his students first and then all the other stuff just kind of falls in place because he's doing what's best for his students. Not one person or child or parent on our campus that he has not touched helped or supported in the year and a half that he's been on our campus. And this is so special because he is a brand new teacher, fresh out of college. It makes it even more profound that he has received this honor.